And guys, welcome back to another Iron Man episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode as you did enjoy the last one. Uh, currently just doing my daily rune spear and as you guys can see I'm like 4k away from getting level up so I guess I will finish uh, gathering the siphoning I mean the rune sphere and I will be back with the first level of the episode and there we go the sphere is done so let's cash in and I don't know please pet obviously not but there we go for 85 rune crafting oh my god the dream the dream guys, medium diaries will be finally com Wait, no, I need to find an altar still, but oh my god, the dream, the <laughs> finally can't believe this crap. Well, I guess this day won't go to complete waste. I uh, didn't have an altar in this uh, floor, ironically. Wouldn't would have been fucking funny if I wouldn't have the cash to build it, but thank god we actually, you know, had cash and doesn't matter because well, I was able to build one myself, but now let's uh, what is the word like accidentally use this on and this should yes Congratulations you have completed all of the medium tasks in the Damonheim set speak to Marmaros Anyway fucking finally can't believe you guys I am 80 fucking 2 DG halfway to 83 and only now I was able to complete the medium diary anyways now I will be able to make some more crafting gains from the G, I guess, because the stuff from the shop after you complete medium diary is 10%, I think, cheaper, so that will help me quite a lot, because, as I said previously, I will still continue doing the G crafting, even though the city requirement is out of the way, but anyways, really happy, we'll finish this floor and claim the reward, and I guess I will be back with something else after that. And there we go, didn't even finish the floor yet, even we can actually get another level, which is cooking this time, so yeah, there we go for 73 cooking, I guess. So I put the lamp on summoning and, you know, because I said I need to level summoning somehow, and look at this, you guys, we did it, boys, 1.7k overall, and we are still hardcore Iron Man. Combat is, you know, leveling up, I guess, slowly as well, so we are not just skilling now, I guess, but uh, this message looks so nice for some reason, I don't know, like, but yes, 1.7k already, I can't believe this, I guess, let the road towards that 1.8k begin, kind of excited. And there we go for another quest in search of Mireki this time, obviously a few more quests to come along the storyline and I guess it's time to do some more quests okay you guys so we are here about to complete another elemental workshop uh, edition I guess and this quest almost pissed me off because I thought I messed up badly because I had one element uh, body bar and couldn't make the second one because I messed up or whatever I guess but it worked out pretty well and I didn't need to redo all the puzzle once again because that would have been fucking bad but Anyways, if we use this on this and make a body body, this should be it, I think. And there we go, you were right, you have completed Elemental Workshop 3, you want quest point 2k? Are you fucking ki Well, never mind, I guess, uh, yeah, 2k smithing XP 50 coal, this is pretty good. And XP tome and ability to make elemental body equipment. Hopefully this gives XP, otherwise this quest was fucking bad smithing, of course. 2.2k, uh, not too much. Oh, you can. Oh, nice. It gives in all the skills, I guess. This is pretty damn good. So, anyways, uh, there we go for Elemental Workshop quest, and now I guess off to do another one. Oh, and we get 56 mything. Nice. And there we go, another one is completed. The Tale of Maspa. This time, easy, quick quest from the list again. Nice, I guess. Let's go and pick something else. And continuing with the dungeoneering games, I guess, guys, there we go for 55 thieving. Hey, you guys, and look at this. I guess we can switch back to magic before we say anything else, but can I please... Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, it's because of metamorphosis, but yeah, I guess let's read magic now because... 
Holy shit, you guys, look at this, 70 defenses achieved, this looks pretty damn sexy, I must admit, obviously, all the barrows and godwars armors are unlocked, pistol equipment as well, not like I can use it anyways, because I don't even have the LCT yet, but yeah, quite an amazing skill to get that right now, I guess, like, I am climbing up those levels, like, where I will be able soon to start doing some PVM, I guess, I just need to get 60, 70 HP and one of my... Friends, I guess I could call him now, uh, offers me to z go Zami so often now, so I guess that's, you know, soon to come, I guess you guys are excited for that, but yeah, um, as I said previously, it's nice to be leaving the low level area slowly, and the levels are starting to round up, I guess, 70 defenses, nice looking level, and now I guess... Next nice milestone will be 75 magic, which I mentioned before that I want to get 90 runecrafting for, at which I will unlock that greater runic staff, I think, which is the best tier 75 weapon that I can possibly get, so that's exciting, I guess, and other than that, I will continue grinding Slayer and working towards that Slayer helm for now, I guess. So I completely forgot after I finished my last floor earlier, and, you know, I went to Slayer that I was aiming to get another scroll because my sub goal for the engineering right now is I think I previously said that I want to unlock all the skilling scrolls that help you improve the skilling uh, when you know receiving some materials back or improving the XP so I think I unlocked two already so I guess there we go for the third one out of the list scroll of the engineering which obviously well Damonheim it's called but it will give some more XP while skilling in da Damonheim and I you know, skill in Diamondheim quite often, so I guess this will work out just fine. So I guess they go for third scroll and for left to go. And look at this, you guys. Some nice levels come in, and once again, they will go for 60 attack and strength. Strength. Oh man, melee skills look kind of beautiful right now. 60, 60, 70. If range was something, something near that, it would be amazing. But yeah, um. Anyway, 60 means that we finally have unlocked the dragon weaponry. I don't know if I can buy any from the shop, even dual wield or two-handed, because I guess I need an upgrade now, because this is obviously level 50, so hopefully my deeps will increase, and anyways, I will continue doing this layer task, I will finish it, and after that, I will, you know, check on wiki if I can buy anything, you know, towards relate dragon-related. Well... I guess there we go for the gear upgrade, not gear, I mean weapons. And casually doing my favorite Slayer task as of now, which is obviously growth forms, and there we go for more Slayer gains, I guess, because we just got 72 magic. Oh, and 95, uh, 95 combat, which is not bad as well, but anyways, let's ha grab this rune manhelm and continue the Slayer grind. And look at this, you guys. I am eating, by the way, so don't, uh, sorry if uh, you guys can tell that, but there we go for some milestone for Slayer again, I guess. There we go for 65 Slayer, and I think that 65 Slayer is the level for Dust Devil, so, you know, 5 levels till 70 is starting to look nice. Other than that, let's just continue doing this stuff, I guess, to get even more gains. Hey, look at this. Another magic level coming in, 73 this time. God, this is so fast. I've been barely playing for today, but, like, I just noticed that I'm about to get this level. So, yeah, this is going on really quick. I get that 75 in no time. And there we go for another quick quest this, that I decided to do. The Giant Wolf this time. Some nice XP from this quest, so if we get any levels first. We do not, but anyways, I guess the road towards that Dragon Pickaxe begins. Ah, I guess there we go for another crafting level, you guys, 76 this time. Just drinking some flags that I got as a drops because I gave myself a really uh, fletching challenge and I have the maple logs from the miscellanea, well, kingdom, because I started doing that. So I thought, you know, I might as well do and fletch in that challenge because fletching challenges do give quite a lot of XP. And yeah, fletching is one of my lower skills, so I definitely need to get that. And there we go, I just finished my daily challenge, so let's cash in, and this should give us a fletching level, I'm pretty sure, and oh my god, 33 key fletching XP, this challenge, oh wow, 184 magic locks as well, holy shit, 
Yeah, so I got two fletching levels. I thought I will only get 55, so I thought, you know, I would record it. But yeah, 56 is even better, I guess. And 5k to 57 as well. Like, that's just freaking crazy. And look at this message, you guys. You have discovered the hook region. You can now seek the slate and trade goods. So yeah, I might just send my voyages out and I unlock the second region, I guess, for the ports. We're doing pretty nicely with that, but so I figured on this note it would be nice to end the episode. But just before I end it, I guess, guys, I can show you that the last thing I recorded a rune span level was, I think, 85. So I've been doing quite some rune crafting when actually yesterday, the entire day yesterday, because the DK rework is now out and I am doing a, a loot from video on my main. So I thought, you know, I wouldn't waste any time on my Iron Man and I would go to rune span. So, drumroll, please. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There we go. For 87 room crafting, I got two levels already. That's that's like 600k plus room crafting XP. So it's not bad, I guess. So I think um, I am about to be done with the loot video, but it's still some nice progress towards that 90 room crafting, I, I guess. So uh, yeah, just thought you know I would quickly throw this in as well. So yeah, doing pretty nicely in this. Did actually pretty nicely in this episode. 1728 total, 166 quest points, still like loads of progress, obviously. So, uh, would be nice maybe to get 90 room crafting in next episode. Who knows? I might just, you know, knock it out because I might do something on my main or whatever. But yeah, I am talking way too, lo too long already. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the episode as usual, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.